Central Bank's massive gold stash, worst silver stacker dump. We, we're living through a unique period in precious metals. Absolutely unique. After two years of a stagnant silver price, 18 to 24 months, right? Really, a two-year stagnant silver price. Stackers, th- this is not the fear of missing out crowd. These are not people hearing about metals for the first time and deciding, oh, they, they want to jump in and, and, and pick up some of the silver. They, they, they see that gold is jumped and they're hearing about it. They want to jump in and get gold. No, these are stackers seeing the bump in gold. Stackers that have, that have been in this game clearly for years. They've seen the bump of gold. They're watching it, right? Gold prices up 2200 almost 2300 And they're cashing out their silver, cashing it out. I visited my local coin shop today and he was busy all morning. People coming in and out of that door all morning and they were cashing out. Nobody's buying. I bought. <laughs> I, I bought. But nobody's buying. They're cashing out silver, gold, any, and any kind of gold. Like just random, you know, they, these aren't people coming in with like, you know, a t- like half a tube or anything. You know, like this This just really felt like random things. That, and they're just cashing out. So it's really going against the whole plan of, of silver stacking and gold stacking, which is to hold, to hold. So look, look, this is from, it's not just me. This is from Kitco, this article. The article says, the silver market has been in a deficit position for the last two years. That's a headline. That's that's not, that's no shock to us. But this is a great article because it, it, this goes through um, every different point that we see from silver presently. It starts with this. It says strengths. Uh, the best performing precious metal, of course, is not silver. Uh, the best pr- performing precious metal for the holiday short weekend that we just had was gold. We all saw that. Even uh, yesterday, it went up to I want to say 2,260, right? It's really high. According to Bloomberg, gold was steady ahead of a slew of inflation reports that may offer more clarity on when central banks will start cutting interest rates. The Federal Reserve's preferred measure of underlying inflation, the Core Personal Consumption Expenditures Index, that's a mouthful, that's going to come out this Friday, right? The Core Personal Consumption Expenditures Index, which includes food and energy costs, that comes out this Friday. Now, uh, the Silver Institute notes that the physical silver market has been in a deficit position for the last two years with another deficit forecast for 2024. Silver has been lagging gold earlier this year, but in the last month, silver has gained actually 9% while gold was up 8.5%. That doesn't make any sense to you and I in the real world. You know, we're not crunching numbers all day. Well, most of us, we have regular jobs. We're not looking at these numbers. But... Uh, when we look at the spot price, right, silver is still st- stagnant. Right? I was, I was just talk. I started this video talking about people jumping to cash out their silver. Meanwhile, silver what? It's it's up like a dollar. You know, the spot price was like twenty five dollars spot price today. It's it's. I think people are seeing gold, and maybe they don't own gold. Maybe they have not been stacking gold, but they're just like getting excited that gold has jumped. So they're cashing out their silver. It's really a a unique time period for this uh, for precious metals. It's really strange uh, because it, silver is really not showing. It's it's not following gold yet. It will. I'm co- I'm absolutely confident that this silver that I'm holding here that it will follow gold. That's historically it, that's what it does. I'm confident that it will. But presently, it's not. So to see people cashing out their silver this early. When the price has not even moved, it's really surprising. So the article says silver is likely to be well supported with expanding solar cell production. Absolutely, the demand for silver is going to show. It already is showing. Silver is an industrial metal, and these industries need it, and they're going to need it even more than what we've had in the past decade. It's every year the demand for silver is going up and up with electric vehicles and solar panels that that requires silver. The article says, according to Bank of America, China boosting imports of gold for non-monetary use by 51% to 367 tons in January and February. To put that number into context, the article says, the global annual physical gold market is usually around 4,000 tons. The purchases have been driven by, a, for China, a confluence of factors, including somewhat constrained domestic investment options. This is going to sound like the United States now 
with the health of equity markets and housing a continued concern. The health of equity markets and housing a continued concern. So here, you know, it's very similar to what we're going through. In China, they've they've uh, cre- put all of this money in, they've invested in creating these cities, really. I mean, housing and uh, the infrastructure to go with these cities, all with the expectations that people would uh, be moving in there, and they're not. Now, banks are waiting to get their investment back, and it's not happening. It sounds familiar, right? It sounds like the United States with commercial real estate and these banks looking at what's going on and realizing that these loans are going to mature in 2024 and 2025, and everybody biting their nails. It's it's really mirroring what we are going through. So China is, is uh, unlike the United States, China is buying up and hoarding gold by the tons, literally, 367 tons. Now, this article, and, and Kiko, you should really check this article out, uh, the author lists uh, different headings, right? So the next heading says weakness, and it says, the worst performing precious metal for the holiday short weekend was silver, but it was still up, according to a BMO, Silver Core's off-market takeover. So now it's talking about uh, mining companies that are looking to, to take over smaller companies. Um but it also says uh, opportunities for silver. It says, according to Market Watch, uh, gold mining stocks. Oh, this is gold also. Gold mining stocks looks uh, looks set to outperform physical gold. A gold bullion has outperformed gold mining company shares over the past three years. Now, I don't. Uh, I'm not very heavily invested in gold mining. I do think that there are a lot of sleepers. I absolutely do believe that there are a lot of sleepers in in just mining in general. The the stocks are so cheap. I mean, it, like you know, a dollar. I mean, they're so low. And I think a lot of them are sleepers. So this article is telling us that gold bullion that we purchase, actual bullion, has outperformed gold mining company shares over the past three years by one of the largest margins in decades. Wow. Over the past three years with with one of the largest margins in decades. Uh, gold recently hit a new all-time high above, right? 2200. We all know that. While the Philadelphia Gold and Silver Index is below where it stood three years ago, the lag in performance reflects the failure of profit margins to materialize while gold prices rose yet due to rising input costs and wages. Input costs have stabilized, yet wages are still an issue for some operators. If the Fed does start cutting rates and gold lifts, investors will be keen to watch for margin expansion. So I never, until I read this article, I never realized how much gold bullion outperforms uh, gold investing, right? And I mean, we 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 do uh, every once in a while. I do talk about, I do make videos talking about uh, gold mining, and I, I I really do think that there are a lot of sleepers there. But I never realized how how strong gold bullion actually is. Now, this article states uh, this is a a great heading: threats, right? It says threats. According to Bloomberg. Uh, lawmakers in South Africa's National Assembly passed a gold and foreign contingency reservacy, uh, reserve bill enabling the government to stop portions of funds. It says Scotia's, uh, Scotia Bank says it is awaiting an update for, uh, from the government of Canada. Now, a lot of mining companies are based in Canada, especially a lot of mining companies that we see here on YouTube. They're based in Canada. And this says under threats. This is a threat. Uh, threat to metals and investing, at, at least. It says, Scotia Bank says it is awaiting an update from the government of Canada on the time frame for implementation of the global mining tax, some uh, global mining tax that's happening in Canada. The Canadian federal budget is scheduled to be present on April 16th, which makes it unlikely that the G- this tax, the GMT, will be enacted before the end of this quarter. Uh, this is expected to impact the earnings of some royalty companies depending on their corporate structure. So if you do, if you are invested and if you presently own any stocks uh, that are mining in Canada, which many of us do, uh, this tax may affect you. So again, this is on Kiko. It's a great article and it looks like this author posts uh, an update like this every week uh, on Kiko. <clears throat> and now, I, I, I started this video talking about uh, silver stackers cashing out their their stack, and I just wanted to share uh, one stacker that I saw this morning, and I actually spoke to him uh, at my local coin shop. He brought in about eight ro- tubes of silver rounds, and I asked him uh, what motivated him to cash out now, and he said that he's he had been holding 
these tubes for about four years and waiting and waiting for silver to move. And now, this is very interesting, he said uh, now presently with gold bumping up, he really feels like this is the best time to cash out. It's such strange math. Uh, it probably is, you know, if, if he, I didn't want to lecture him or, t- you know, say anything, but uh, it go, I think what, what his thought process was that, yes, gold is moving up, so silver will move up, but not right now, not today, with a dollar difference, right? I mean, silver's hover, been hovering from around 22 to $24 for the past two years, and now we're up at $25. I, I say, stop, do not dump it, do not cash out. I say, stay the course and hold as much as silver. Especially if you have that's that's a good chunk of money. Eight tubes of silver rounds. That's a nice little stack. Uh, I would not cash it out. I would not dump it out. I would certainly hold and watch to see because silver is definitely going to do 